but she is dead. <laughs> no, it's a regular person. Yeah. Yeah, just write a check. Just... No officer, she was not 26. Janvi Kandula was actually just 23 years old and was going to graduate with her masters in December from Northeastern University. She was the only hope for a single mother who lives back in India and teaches elementary at a school in Andhra Pradesh earning less than 17,000 rupees a month, which in your currency is not even a measly $200. But she was run over by a police car driving at a speed of 120 km per hour when the prescribed speed limit of that road was just 40 km per hour. And that too to save some cokehead who had apparently OD'd on drugs. And guess what? Janmi wasn't even jaywalking. She was on the zebra crossing. After killing her, you laughed at her death and said, just write a check for $11,000. She had limited value. Yes, for you, but not for her single mother who had no clue that one of your officers had run over her innocent daughter on the night of 23rd January this year. Yes, the officer you heard in the video is not the one who was driving that night. This officer on the video was talking to the SPOG President Mike Solon about the accident which killed Janvi. It was Officer Kevin Dave who was driving the car that night. As per some reports, this is the officer who ran over Janvi. He's a 35-year-old former Marine who had joined SPD in 2019 on a hiring bonus. By the end of the day, you see, all of them knew about it. At this point, let me tell you that since YouTube is going to kill this video too by either making it age-restricted or striking it out completely for one reason or the other, I implore you to go onto my Twitter at Ronak Kotecha and watch the full unseen video of the officer along with their faces. And now that the shit has hit the roof, this officer is claiming that the conversation is one-sided and been taken out of context. He says that he had been mocking how a lawyer would arrive at a settlement. But you see, it holds little water when weighed against the fact that this is not the first incident of racial discrimination by the SPD or the Seattle Police Department. In fact, the man mocking Janvi's death is Seattle Police Department officer Daniel Audra, who has a deeply disturbing past about how he deals with immigrants. He has been the subject of 18 investigations by the Office of Public Accountability in Seattle alone since 2014, including for having illegally stopped, harassed and violently arresting two Mexican immigrants in 2010. Now, there is an authority called Divest SPD. They said in 2010, Daniel Audra and other officers bait up a mentally ill man to the point that he sustained permanent brain damage. In 2016, Daniel Audra was investigated by the OPA twice for using force on women during arrest. He was also suspended for four days for conducting an off-duty arrest which is illegal in the US. Then in 2017, the same Daniel Audra allegedly punched a homeless man in the emergency room of Harborview Hospital in Seattle. And by the way, let me tell you, that's the same hospital where Janvi was taken. As per the agency, all these cases have cost the city 1.7 million US dollars. That's over 14.10 crore in lawsuits. And yet, there he is, laughing after killing an innocent young girl way back on January 23rd this year. And no one knew about it until on 11th of September, this body cam video from the officer's car surfaced where he's saying everything that's wrong with this police department. Now, Janvi had arrived in the United States from Bengaluru in 2021 as a part of a student exchange program. And she was all set to graduate this December, but all her future dreams died along with her. After all the outrage from the video, her university in the US is now awarding her degree posthumously and will give it to her family. In a statement, the Chancellor's Office of this university has said that Janvi's colleagues remember her for her bubbly laugh and her sense of humor. Her loss will be felt deeply by students, staff and faculty. The Consulate General of India in San Francisco has called the incident deeply troubling. They wrote this on Twitter. We have taken up the matter strongly in Washington DC as well for a thorough investigation and action against those involved in this tragic case. The consulate and the embassy will continue to closely follow up on this matter with all the concerned authorities. What do you think will happen? 
let us know in the comments and please don't even bother subscribing liking or sharing this video save that kind of effort for the freeloading influencers making name fame and money for themselves traveling the world eating at the best of the restaurants for free and living it up as they even get paid for it because you continue to dedicate your time effort and shower unconditional love on them spending your time data and wi-fi on their perfectly instagrammable lives thank you for watching jai hind